right, people. SCG here checking in. Um, I know I haven't made a video in a minute, but you know the usual procedures on this channel. Like I told you guys, I'm an on and off YouTuber. I make videos when I feel like, but again, I have my points where the videos pick up, my points where the videos go down. But today I wanted to kind of discuss, make a little quick video in discussing um, the Metal Gear Solid 3. Me three. <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid, obviously, not just 3, but the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection. And the reason why I said Metal Gear Solid 3 first is because uh, Metal Gear, this is the first time Metal Gear Solid 3 would be released on PC after being out for like 20 years. <laughs> And as you can imagine, many people, including myself, was were very excited to finally be able to play Metal Gear Solid 3 on an, a superior, you know, technological device such as the PC. But to our dismay, of course, a fucking course, there's always a catch. Um, yeah, the ports are not really the best. Now, you might come to the point and ask the question why all the ports so bad um with these with this master collection we're gonna get into that so you know you might be having your little twenty dollars you might have already played the classics of metal gear solid one and two metal gear uh metal gear one and two you might have just you know what i'm saying enjoyed the hell out of those games right you're coming hot off all these games you already played these games on pc because you can you can pretty much i mean even before this master collection came out you could play all these 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 games on pc metal gear solid 1 was available uh was available on pc metal gear solid 2 was available on pc with the pc version um, and you could also emulate the PlayStation 2 versions of these, uh, PS1 and PlayStation 2 versions of these games. As well as Metal Gear Solid 3, you could also emulate that as well. To be honest, you would have been better off just emulating the game instead of going and, um, buying this Master Collection. Now, the first order of business. The original Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, on PC, the original version that is available on GOG as of now. I don't know if you can still buy it, but you can definitely play it. I have the PC version of Better Get Solid 2 on God. And in this version of Metal Gear Solid 2, you could actually, I know it's shocking, on a PC game in 2003, this game came out in 2003, isn't it shocking that you can actually, I know, you can change your resolution, it's a big crazy deal, I know, I know, it's crazy, right, I mean, we just, we, it's like we haven't been changing PC resolutions for the last 25 fucking years, but... You can actually change the resolution. I know it's crazy. Not to mention the fact that on the Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance PC version, of course, uh, which is essentially just the port of the Xbox version, you can actually download a mod called VSFIX and play the game in 4K with mouse and keyboard controls. Yeah. Now you might be questioning and saying, mouse and keyboard sh controls SCG, what do you mean by that? Yeah, you can't use mouse and keyboard controls on Metal Gear Solid 3's Master Collection, which is like, what? Uh, huh? <laughs> that's a, that's a, it's a joke. It's honestly a joke. Um, so again, you can't change the resolution. The resolution, I believe, is stuck at 720p, even on the PC versions. Of Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, you can change the resolution. You can change it to make it as high or as low as you want. Again, as well with added mods, as well as emulation, you can make the resolution anything you want. So it's just like, in 2023, you guys put out the laziest port. I mean, Japanese developers, man, sometimes you guys really put out some of the laziest shit imaginable. Like, even with the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. I mean, at least with that, you could have changed the resolution. Okay, guys, now I want you to take a look at this, right? Now, this is Metal Gear Solid 2's Substance's Vs 
fix. This is a mod that you can download for Metal Gear Solid 2. And this mod, you can make full screen cutscenes. You can make the FOV 16 by 9. You can play a game on windowed mode, which is like, okay. But now here it is. Check this out. You can change motion blur, depth of feel. You can take it off or have it on. You can have the effects. I believe this was left out in the PC version of the game. You can add uh, anti-aliasing. Um, you can add all of these things with these fix. You can make the internal resolution 8K if you want to. You can make it the regular resolution, whatever you want. In this case, it's 1440p. I do believe you can change it. Um, I don't know if I can change it here. Oh, yes, you can. Um, I'm going to change it to 31 uh, to 2160 by um, what the fuck is 4K's resolution again? Uh, 30. Is it the other way around? I hate having to implement the resolutions myself. Cause I think that's it. yeah. I think this is how you you do it. Yes. This is it. So all in all, guys, my brothers, my sisters, everybody out there that's tuning in. Should you get the Metagear Solid Master Collection Volume 1? This is a very pertinent question at this time, especially considering the fact that the games altogether is $60. Although, to be honest, you can buy the game separately if there's a particular Metal Gear Solid you prefer to play. Me, in my personal opinion, Metal Gear Solid 3 would have been the one I bought because I already own Metal Gear Solid 2, and I could buy Metal Gear Solid 1 on GOG, um, where I can actually enhance the graphics with mods if I wanted to, unlike with this version currently. So, as well as being able to buy Metal Gear 1 and 2 also on GOG. So I don't really need to buy them on Steam unless, of course, I want achievements. I think that would probably be the only real incentive on buying the game at this point. But the lack of options and the lack of customization on a PC version of a game in 2023 like this master collection really just kind of hinders me from wanting to go and hit that add to cart button uh yeah so all in all should you buy this master collection if you already own these games or play these games or already emulated these games probably not it's probably not going to be a good investment there's just not enough here that makes a lot of sense to go ahead and pull the trigger it just does not add up Make it make sense, Konami. Make it make sense. You can't change the resolution for a game in 2023. What the hell is wrong with these guys? You should have just made this a console exclusive. I honestly would have just bought this on the PS5. I wouldn't have complained. But the PC version, this is an unacceptable port. Anyway, guys, SGG418, 418. Y'all know who it is. I love you guys. I hope you love me. And I'm out. Peace.